Hey everybody, it's your old pal Dickie Moonshine here. I am finally getting around to doing some videos. The super sweet gunsmithing videos are going to be coming. I just want to do a real quick video. First, um, I, was, I bought a couple of DRO kits for the old Smithy Granite 1324. Focus. And I was looking online for some ideas of mounting locations because I was uh, having some difficulties in deciding where I wanted to do that and I couldn't find anything so I decided I will do a quick video to show you where I mounted mine uh, to hopefully help, uh, hopefully help somebody else out. So let's go around the back first and we will look at the track for this axis. Go out a little bit, you can see the whole thing there, um, if it will focus. Basically what I did for this one, this one was, um, this one was much simpler. Just drilled and tapped two holes on either end. There's one. There's the other one. Put some, as you can see, behind the brackets there are some uh, shims uh, just out of 26 gauge galvanized steel uh, sheet metal. Just from Lowe's, uh, just to get, the, uh, to get the track up off the back of the machine a little bit. And get the bracket on there. <clears throat> and then I just made a little bracket out of that same material, just screwed it to that bracket. And then for mounting, I just used the existing bolt there for the uh, jibs and mounted it to that. And if I can manage this with the camera, <clears throat> As you can see, it moves real nice there with no, no play at all. So it definitely, definitely does the job. So that's what I did for that axis on the back of the machine. Then if we come around here, <coughs> this, um, this axis was a lot, uh, a lot more challenging. There really was only, it's really only one good place to do it, to mount it. And that was on the front of the apron here so for the the track there I just drilled and tapped two holes on either side there mounted that up on the top then my concern was because it's in the the front was fluid and chips getting on it so what I did was, out of that same material, I just cut a piece, bent it, and drilled and tapped a couple of more holes, and just screwed it in there, hole on either side, screwed it in there, and that makes a nice little shield basically for uh, just to protect it so that uh, chips and, and fluid don't get on it. And then drilled a hole in the middle there. And then I that's what I attached that bracket to. And as you can see, that moves real nice as well with no no play at all. So that worked out real well, and this uh, this was real nice. It served a dual purpose, uh, you know, as a shield to to keep the crap off of it, and um, uh, also to mount the bracket too. I also made a little a little plate down here, again out of the same material, and 
just drilled and tapped uh, another hole there and then just drilled a little hole in it put a good old handy dandy zip tie on there and that keeps the keeps the cord out of the way keeps the cord off the ways and just left the zip tie little uh, little slack on the zip tie and uh, it the cord goes through it real nicely when it's uh, when it's moving on that axis so that is uh, that is what I did since the the old the old Smithy is a unique machine it presented some unique challenges so um, I just wanted to post a quick video if anybody else has uh, has one of these machines or you know running into some similar problems uh, with a machine that uh, is is sort of similar as you can see here I'll turn these guys on and zero on They actually work real well. Uh, I had some, uh, I had quite a bit of backlash in both uh, in both hand wheels. Uh, actually, about uh, yeah, about seven or eight thousandths in both hand wheels, and I adjusted it. I could adjust, uh, I could adjust the backlash out uh, a little bit more, but I figured that the the DROs e even e even the inexpensive ones are going to uh, they're going to be better than dealing with with that backlash regardless of how small I can get it down to anyway so uh, I figure figure I'll adjust the backlash out uh, and also put the DROs on and you know that'll uh, that 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 works out real well for me so just the uh, just I just got the cheap eBay versions of the eye gauging uh, DROs they look exactly the same just without the eye gauging sticker right there I'm not saying they're exactly the same without the sticker but that probably be a probably be a pretty safe bet um, okay so if you have any questions uh, or comments for me leave them in the comments below and uh, thank you for watching